everybody and welcome back to Colin's Crazy Creatures. I was biking with my friends and I found a baby snapping turtle at my driveway. And since a driveway is not a safe place for a turtle, I picked him up and now let's talk about snap baby snapping turtles. This one is so small, you can definitely tell that he recently hatched. And many people are afraid of holding snapping turtles because, well, they snap at you. Well, that's not the case with baby snapping turtles. They will stay in their shell for the most part and will definitely not bite you. So, you can just hold them on your hand. But you do have to be careful while holding them because if you squeeze them a little too hard, if their shell's not fully hardened, they could get hurt. In fact, this one's plastron is still a little soft. Adult snapping turtles will lay their eggs from April through August and they dig holes and bury their eggs to keep them safe. It takes about 90 days for the eggs to hatch. A typical clutch of eggs is 15 through 50 eggs and you may think that's a lot and that is a lot but there's a good reason for them to have that many eggs and that is the mortality rate for these baby turtles is extremely high from about 90 to 95 percent. With a survival rate of only 5 to 10 percent from a clutch of 50 eggs only about two to five baby snapping turtles will make it to adulthood. And that is because there are a lot of things that want to eat them. Humans like to eat the adult snapping turtles in soup, but the babies get eaten by a lot of other things. And those things are other large turtles, including snapping turtles, big birds like great blue herons and crows, Mammals like trash pandas, or also known as raccoons, skunks and foxes, other reptiles and amphibians like bullfrogs and water snakes, and large predatory fish like largemouth bass. But baby snapping turtles are predators too and they eat earthworms, other small invertebrates, small fish, and tadpoles, so revenge on the frogs. And many people think that snapping turtles are purely carnivores. Well, that's actually not true because they will eat plant matter from time to time. This this little guy is a baby, so he's very small. Only about an inch long, and he weighs less than a quarter of an ounce. And he's very cute. Well, sure, he's cute now, but, when he be but if he passes all the predators and doesn't get hit by a car when crossing the road to find a mate, he will become a 14 inch long, 35 pound monster turtle with humongous jaws ready to snap your nose off but he's cute for now. So now we're gonna release him in this small pond because where we caught him is not a safe place for a turtle, especially a baby turtle. Thanks for watching, please subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and see you next time on Collins Crazy Creatures.